Okay, uh, well, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we're here today to officially uh, and symbolically uh, sign a collective bargaining agreement with our Laredo Police Officers Association. Uh, for us, it's, um, it's a great uh, day because I, I think as well, the council, our city council has seen uh, the fruits of the labor that, that happened through this. Uh, the work that had been put in by um, not only the Police Officer Association, the union, but also our staff uh, that worked really, really hard on this uh, for about a year, uh, dedicated on this. Uh, there's a lot of moving pieces that, that were worked on. And uh, I first wanted to, to recognize the team for sure, starting you know with our Deputy City Manager, Rosario Cabello, Christy Hale, Assistant City Manager, uh, Gilbert uh, Sanchez, and the other, uh, Stro Melina, of course, yes, Melina Bermudez, you know, as our HR lead for sure. Uh, we were able to come to this uh, five year agreement with, with the Police Officer Association. Again, from the city side, city management side at least, uh, we were happy to see that uh, at the very end we uh, came out with something that is manageable uh, for the city. Uh, manageable, I think, for the association, uh, but more importantly, I think, for our citizens and our community, uh, it shows, one, uh, that we recognize the value that our police officers, the men and women of the police, associ uh, police officers, uh, the police department, uh, is very, very, very uh, valuable to us and recognized by us all, so I, I appreciate that, too. Uh, we can go into some of the details right now, but what I i uh, like to do as well is to introduce, obviously, uh, the individuals that join us today. Um, to my right, uh, and I'll give uh, the council member the, the floor, uh, Mayor Sines is out traveling today, so he apologizes, but he's, he's uh, excited about this as well. But I'd like to recognize right now, if I can, a council member for District 3, Mercurio Martinez III, to say a couple words about this and then uh, go to council member Gutierrez and then so forth and so on. Thank you and, and uh, again, uh, as our city manager, uh, Mr. Eads has alluded to, uh, it's been a team effort and I really wanna thank uh, 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 Ramiro Paredes and, and his team uh, for recognizing the seriousness of, of our situation, our economy today. Um, the pandemic hit and, and, and the contract was up and, and uh, they went ahead and, and worked with city staff to, to postpone uh, uh, the agreement and, and to further work it out. Uh, it, it's an agreement that is very fair to, to, to all concerned and, and the team that negotiated with the city of Laredo and the team that negotiated uh, <coughs> with, uh, with the police department, with Laredo uh, Police Officers Association, the collective uh, bargaining um, came to terms and, and, and I'd love for our Congress uh, to, to act like, like our citizens, like, like our police officers with, with professionalism that to come to the table and work together. Uh, it, it, it was, it was a, a gathering of a family because that's what we are as a family. So I'd like to take this time to, to thank you very much uh, for the excellent work that you and, and, and your, uh, your committee, your staff uh, have put forth. Um, the city of Laredo uh, is, is a safe city and thanks to your efforts. The city of Laredo is not just a safe city, but it's one of the safest cities in this country. And the stats are there. You can read about it. Uh, we're quite proud of, of our officers uh, of, of our uh, in blue. Uh, and uh, we wholeheartedly support our officers in blue. And, and again, thank you very much uh, for being the Laredo one and the professional that, that, that you are. Thank you. Yeah, and so uh, thank you, Councilmember Martinez. Thank you for recognizing that. Thank you for your kind words about uh, 
you know, how you see this, your perspective, definitely as a council member, definitely as, as a representative of our, of our uh, constituents. I too want to echo that uh, sentiment too before we also move on with uh, Ramiro, his team, and the entire team. Um, because it, it does uh, take some effort, uh, a, an agreement. Uh, I always say there's, there's two ways agreements, uh, you know you have a good one. If, if both of, of the parties walk away unhappy, that's probably a good agreement. Or if both parties walk away, you know, happy. Or happy enough to move on. And, and I think with this one, uh, we knew the, the situation. The LPOA uh, recognized the issues on hand. And so we didn't start with um, uh, at a point where we knew that we couldn't be at. We appreciate that. We got to brass tacks. We knew what we had to look at, had to tackle and we just got to it. And so I appreciate uh, Ramiro for you for leading that, uh, uh, the association into driving us to, to this day today so we can sign this. Uh, right now I'd like to uh, recognize if I can, um, Council Member for District 5, Mr. Ruben Gutierrez Jr. for a couple words. Thank you, Mr. Eaton, appreciate that. Yes, uh, first of all, thank you all for showing up here, really appreciate it. Um, second of all, Thank you to the LPOA, Ramiro Paredes, your staff, your people that you've been working with. Uh, as you all know, I was a police officer back in the day, or well, six, seven months ago, back in the day. It wasn't too long ago. Um, but I know what it's like to be working yeah, with contracts back and forth with the city itself, uh, with the LPOA itself. I used to work with them uh, very closely when it came to. So I know exactly how much work comes into this. Um, so I'm very appreciative of you all holding on, you know, for that year 2020 that the city just couldn't do anything with because of the, the, the pandemic and the situation we were in, that we're still in now. So uh, this was a great collaboration between the LPOA and the City of Laredo staff. Robert, your staff as well, you've did a fantastic job. Uh, there wasn't a lot of bickering going back and forth like it's been done previous years before uh, when I was an officer because there used to be a lot of back and forth people just not um, seeing eye to eye, which is, is very normal. Um, but it's something that we didn't have to deal with so much this year, which was something that was an eye opener, that we're able to work together. And the association knew that the city couldn't do too much, uh, but it is a step in the right direction. We are going forward, we're moving forward. We will get past this pandemic very soon, God willing. Um, and like I say, to the officers out there, it's a step in the right direction. Um, I know you didn't get the increases that you were desiring, but you knew the situation the city is in and the situation that we're in right now. Uh, so I do appreciate that. I appreciate the staff making this such an easy process. Um, and like I say, we are moving in the right direction. Uh, for all the police officers out there, thank you for everything you do, because if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. I know exactly what you go through. I was there with you all for uh, over 22 years. Um, so I just want to say thank you very much. Continue the great work, the great success you all have done and keep uh, your head up high and uh, i say thank you again appreciate it thank you councilor Gutierrez. again recognizing another perspective former officer now on the dais with us uh having to make those decisions and i guess you know some of the words and you know before i, I pass it on to um president of lpoa i did I have to mention that uh, really part of our charge is consensus building, right? And so we have to find middle ground. And so that's a major part of this. Numbers are numbers. You can't change that so much, but what you can change is perspective. What you can change is recognizing issues like the economy and whatnot and having to give a little, all of us having to give a little. There was a lot on the table. Uh, uh, but at the end of the day, what, what we had to do was, uh, as a team, work together to come and find common ground, things we knew we could work on, get those in front of us, get it to a place where we can both agree, and then get it on a piece of paper and move it forward. And I think that, that's what we did. All that, you know, uh, from uh, the LPOA side now uh, and, and for the past months, I uh, was led by Mr. Ramiro Paredes, and if I can recognize, and if you can say a couple words, uh, Mr. Paredes, President of the LPOA. Yes, I would just like to uh, uh, thank everybody for, for coming to this conference. I would like to thank uh, Mr. Yeats, Ms. Ms. Cabello, Ms. Hill, for working on this with us 
And what, what we want to say is thank big thank you for your staff. And I also want to thank uh, the, our police chief that he's also worked very close with the union, Chief Claudio Trevino. And uh, I just want to say thank you very much. We appreciate it and we will continue to be working with, with the city. Hopefully we'll come back next time. We'll probably I'll be around. <laughs> but uh, next to me is one of my, my collective bargaining committee members. Mr. Investigator David Hernandez. Great. Great. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Paredes. And, and to describe what we're looking at, and I know you know we're going to pump out the data um, when you when you're walking out. But just some of the key points that we looked at: uh, the contract is uh, from 2020 uh, to 10, 2024 up to 2025, essentially a total of five years. And the way it's been broken down is that for the 2020 year. There was zero, not, not a penny was moved, not a penny was put in there uh, for this contract. 2021 year, there was, there's a one-time one stipend, a $2,200 stipend for men and women of the police department. They then can use that for their needs. Where we come in as a city on our part, that, that helps us because obviously it's not put on uh, as an ongoing expense, so we recognize that. So that, that was the gift. We want to recognize and value what you've done value what you do uh, but we also have to be sensitive to our budgets especially this one so that's why the stipend came out moving forward then you would have a two percent two and a half percent and a three percent uh, which is typical of how you would see these contracts and let me just stop by there and say this is where it becomes a little bit untypical where uh, numbers have been different percentages have been higher in in most other contracts um, it's obvious Costs have gone up between other years uh, when we look at contracts. But what's happened for this five-year deal, it's actually at a level um, that is probably 15 or 20 years of, of cost that we've recognized. Because before, uh, with the value of this, we would expect to, we were thinking or expecting to be challenged with a much bigger number. We were able to hold the line on both sides. So, yes, and, and two with this, I want to recognize uh, all of our uh, chiefs here, Chief Trevino, uh, Chief Anna, Chief Masia, Chief Rodriguez, thank you all for being here as well. They, they, they obviously lead the charge there at the police uh, department, but they also, too, give us that valuable insight as the leadership team, the executive leadership team there, to see what is possible and what is not. So, again, we, we are uh, glad to be here. Glad to uh, finally sign this agreement at this point and uh, get moving on the next one. And I hope uh, and pray that from how this has uh, been worked through and worked out, future contracts can be done with just as much care, consideration for all parties, for all associations. Obviously, the city will have collective bargaining coming up with our fire department. And then soon enough, believe me, we're going to be back here again with the police department in about three or four years. Uh, but if we can just maintain that sensitivity to either's uh, part, uh, you as an officer, us as, as a city, uh, I think we're going to be in a really, really good place. So I, I, I thank everybody. And again, I thank our team. I thank your team, Ramiro. Uh, excellent work on everybody's part. And ultimately, I want to thank the city council they too um, had to see this contract. It's a very challenging uh, year, obviously, and we are about to go into budget. So to be able to look at this contract and sign off on this unanimously, as yes, they did, uh, was a true sign of faith in what we did and uh, respect to our men and women of the police department. So congratulations. Thank you, uh, council members. I thank the mayor and city council as well. Because that's what drives us. That's what gives it, gets us motivated to get things done and to recognize the way uh, we should recognize. So thank you, everybody, as well. Yeah. I think we have an official signing that, that we have. We'd like to uh, get going on that. Let's see what we've got. I think what we can do is uh, sign and then do the whole shuffle to the right. All right. Not disappearing ink, by the way. It's actually real. 
Black. This concludes our ceremony. Thank you for coming. We'll be available for interviews if you need them. Thank you again.